an exotic pet is a lot different than owning a cat or a dog. And News 19's Riley Kine talked with a local exotic pet shop owner and shares what to know before taking on that responsibility. Brad Carter, owner of Driftless Reptiles, says with all exotic pets, there is necessary research involved before taking on ownership. There's a lot of competing opinions and ideas online of how to keep every single species out there. Talk to people who have been doing it a long time and see whose animals are thriving and whose animals are just existing. Carter says the outlook for owning an exotic pet is completely different. Everyone's first interpretation of any of these guys is does it bite. For some reason, when it comes to a reptile, they're more scary. Everybody thinks, oh, it's more dangerous, it's venomous, it's going to hurt you. But it honestly, like, it's really not any different. They're not slimy, they're not creepy, they're just different. He says each one has its own personality and behaviors. The number one piece of advice he has is get the setup right. If you get your initial setup bought, paid for, set up, ready to go, and really just dialed in, that animal is going to do great. It's going to save you money down the road, um, whether on vet bills, feeding, I mean, all different kinds of things. It's just you won't have to replace certain components as often because it'll be right the first time. Over time, Carter says the cost for owning an exotic animal and the time constraints are actually less. But some take on the responsibility before they are ready, which is why JNR Aquatic Animal Rescue is holding a pet surrender event tomorrow. So these events are geared towards uh, exotic pets like fish, birds, small animals, reptiles. Um, and if you have a pet like that that you can't take care of anymore, you can bring it to this event and we'll take it. We'll bring it back to either our shelter or we work with uh, different animal shelters around the, the, the state and uh, we'll make sure we find it a good home. There aren't many places that take exotic pets and just releasing them is bad for the animal and the environment, which is why this event is so important. From La Crosse, Riley Kine, News 19. And if you'd like to learn more about that pet surrender event, the time and location, for example, you can find this story over at WXW.com.